Okay, here we go again. It's time to go to a farm birthday. You must be the birthday girl. Man, cheer up, it's your birthday. She's dead. Oh my, my gosh, she's dead? I don't trust any of them. Don't be scared, they're only farmers. Oh. Dave? You people killed my little Prudence. She was Dave's biggest fan. Did you get incarcerated then? Do what they did to me? How would you like to make all of your dreams come true? I, I never had a dream. I acquired the company in 2004. I knew that reality television was the future. So I took over HipDot, the leading network in reality TV for the just out of puberty demographic, like you. How convenient that you come whisk us away after we murdered a whole fucking family. How do we know that you're not a cop taking us to get our jimmies rustled? Because cops don't have personal assistance. Hello, Cordula. Hello, Magic Fun House. Can I offer anyone water in a bottle? They have free water here? Oh, yes, oh my gosh! Wow. We have a lot more than just water here, Jimmy. Coffee too? Decaf or regular? What? Hey, you okay? Uh, I, I, I think I used to know someone who worked for the company. Well, that's good, right? <laughs> Miss Cordula, uh, just out of curiosity, what does reality television have to do with a kid's show? Uh, yeah, and you still haven't said where the fuck we're flying to. And when the fuck are we gonna see some children? I'm here for the kids. Tip it, Donovan. Oh, God, you people are so much more delightful in person. <laughs> I know. All of your questions will be answered. When, bitch? As soon as I get a touch-up. Patsy! Y you get automatic touch-ups here? Welcome to the world of network television. Everyone gets a touch-up. Oh, I'm gonna fucking come! You never touch me up, Manny. I've eaten your poop. Only because we agreed it would be funny. Looking good, boss. Thank you. Please fasten your seatbelts as we will be descending into Los Angeles. We're going to Los Angeles! Yes! Again, Donovan. Christmas, every. Everyone left. Oh, well, what are you two still doing here? I thought you had a sale to make in Maine. Uh, I pushed it to January so I could come see your holiday special in person. I, I know you don't like me coming to see your tapings, but it's Christmas. I'd rather be with my family. Can you please shut the hell up? I'm trying to watch Carrie's Crazy Castle. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lindsay. How's Daddy's little girl Get doing? Get back and step away. Lindsay? You're supposed to be in Maine, making us money. We need that commission, Leslie. Fine, you want me to go to Maine? I'll go to Maine. Just for the record, I wanted to surprise you. I was finally able to afford us a real ham this year. So I can give you the Christmas dinner you always wanted. We're vegan now, remember? Yeah, we only eat full turkey now, Dad. Vegan? Just last week you were scarfing down bratwurst. And now I'm scarfing down something else. By the way, sweetie, I invited my boss to join us for dinner tonight. He had nowhere to go for Christmas. Oh, hello there, Lucy. Leslie. Your wife's one hell of a show host. I don't know how you handle this side of my all day. <laughs> Mr. Longdick, president of Hip Doc Premium Cable Television. Yeah. Yes, we meet every year, sir. Yes, I know. I just wanted to hear my name. <laughs> oh, Long Dick. No, Mr. Long Dick. <laughs> Can we talk for a second, baby? What are we doing now? Hey, Mr. Long Dick, come watch Carrie's Crazy Castle with me. Oh, do we have to? <laughs> come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You think I went out of town and you go inviting that little nugget over without telling me on Christmas Eve? When are you gonna let me feel like a man? <laughs> <laughs>
when you stop being a bumper sticker salesman. This is a flashback. They still use those. Look, Mommy, I taught Mr. Long Dick me and Daddy's secret handshake. We really made it our own. Oh, very good, sweetie. How wonderful. Ooh, good. can you show good. Mommy how to yeah. do this? Show Mommy. Show, show Mommy. Okay, okay, let's show okay. the handshake. Got it. Yeah. 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 Bump, 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 this, elbow, this, back. This, oh, okay, right. okay, okay, you got it, you got it. Show her again, show mommy this. Okay, yes, show, show her. <laughs> oh, shit, the hell is this? Vibrating seats. Oh, god damn, this place got nice. <laughs> Quite a step up from TV 30 back yonder. How do you know about us, and how do you know about TV 30? Oh, I watched your entire escapade at the farmhouse on the internet along with the rest of the country. What? what? So you're telling me the whole nation just watched us do a multi-homicide on a live stream? I knew you were a cop. Aim for the eyes, there's less college in there. Yeah. yeah! Americans expect two things from their television. Absurdity and violence. When I saw the six of you in action, I knew that you were a one-stop shop with no writer's room required. America loves you. And that means Cordula loves you. Do they even know who we are? I mean, this man molests children. I make love to them. And thanks to Jimmy here, child predators all over the world are once again finding the courage to work in schools, daycares, oh. birthday parties. Thank you. Thank you. OK, cut the clip. Why did you put us on this airplane? We want to give you your show back. Our show? Magic Fun House, yes. Only this time, with a bigger budget, bigger staff, and union wages for all of you. I can't believe it. You'd better believe it. I can't. You'd better. I want to try this. All we need now is for you to sign the contract to have Hip Dot produce the series. How much money are we talking? Uh, <laughs> for me. <laughs> I prefer to write the amount down. Saying the amount out loud might emit an electromagnetic shockwave. Oh, shit! 25 motherfucker! So, Mr. Cronus, have I piqued your interest? Do we have a deal? We're not signing dick. You might not realize this, but the SDC banned us from the airwaves. Yeah, and we just murdered a fucking family. And you got notoriety, which is going to give us a bigger return than the legal fees I will undoubtedly have to pay. You signed that goddamn contract. I agree with what's her face. She has way more money than you do. Way more. Oh, what the hell? I love signing shit. <laughs> and now that we got that settled, let's go see your new studio. You already got us a studio? You're in the big leagues now, Arlo. We get shit done. This is it? Hello, Magic ah! Funhouse. Welcome to your new home. I'll be your tour guide. Please follow me. This building was recently restored after the cancellation of the Mary Michael Milstead show. Wait, that was filmed here? Right on the same stage you'll be using. Yes. Oh, wow. And this, Jimmy, is where you'll be answering phones and greeting visitors, just like you did at TV 30. I don't know if I'd still be a good face to greet the visitors. My scar kind of looks like a... Uh... Butthole, yes. Which is exactly why we got you these. Oh, oh. Cover your wound in style, my boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my word. You have central air conditioning? Yes, the whole building is equipped with air conditioning. Did that little guy just crawl in oh, there? Yeah, she'll be in there for at least an hour. And if she doesn't come back? Smoke bomb. <laughs> Let's carry on, shall we? And this is where all the magic will be happening. I don't think we survived that plane ride because I'm standing in heaven. <laughs> More like hell's greatest illusion. Feel free to explore. Uh, this place has changed. I'm sorry? I mean, is a change from our last little shithole. <laughs> Hi there. I don't think we've met yet. I'm Clifford Cork. In addition to child entertainment, I also specialize in inter-
to racial pornography. Just curious, what's your ethnicity? Hey, Sailor Jupiter, what's the bathroom situation here? Am I gonna have to use diapers at this studio as well? Does he require any special attention? He seems off. Oh, not any more attention than the rest of us. By the way, how old are you, kiddo? <laughs> I'm coming! Look at this! Thanks. I picked those out myself. I'm sorry. I didn't realize when this stopped being about me. We tried keeping it similar to your dressing room back at TV 30. Well, you certainly did your homework, Patsy. Yes, yes, this will do nicely. Jesus, who are these people? You need to tell them this is quite inappropriate. <laughs> Silly. I thought you wanted automatic touch-ups. I don't want them anymore. Where'd she go? Do we have security in the building? No, stop, get off me! No, Dr. Potty Mouth is supposed to go stage left! She has got fuck! Stop marking me, you little troll! Oh god, these people again. No, we don't use booms here! That's it! Something wrong? What is it, Arlo? I want them gone. Who, Patsy? No, I'm talking about these hot young PA wannabes ruining my set! I want to go back to the basics. Now, Arlo, we have a real show now with a real crew. And a real contract. People enjoy my show because it's done a certain way. I'm not about to change up my formula to make you more comfortable. We do things with six people and one asshole, and that's it. Patsy? Oh, God. Please fire the entire crew so that I don't need to. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. Wonderful job today. But I got a little bit of bad news. The way you handled that back there, I must say, was impressive. Someone has to be. He never could run this company. I'm sure he had some money. But that, but that was, was his, his only, only likable quality. quality. <laughs> <laughs> you knew Mr. Longdeck. Oh, my wife did. She worked for him and left me on the streets for this little shit poker. Gift bag? Don't forget your gift bag on the way out, guys. Have a good one. What the hell are you thinking, Arlo? Why would you have everyone fired? Yeah, these people actually look like they knew what they were doing. Just watch, now that they're gone, things are gonna start going swimmingly. There are many snacks in these vents. I don't need to explain myself to you three shitheads. This is my show! And we don't need anyone else! I don't get it. I'm pressing three, four, but nothing is hey, happening. Okay, right, this right, thing right, is right, garbage. Hey, here, uh, hand me the screwdriver. It might be short in the dimming board. Cool. You know, for an Amish-looking motherfucker, you certainly know a lot about technology. Thanks, Mr. Dittman. Part of growing up with practically no friends, I suppose. Ah, friends are just people who haven't disappointed us yet. You were lucky enough to have friends as a child. Not that any of it matters. I wasn't sticking around very long anyways. Here, try it now. Ow! Yes! Thank you, Dave. Ah, uh, no problem. Let's have a good gas show, man. Yeah, we're not there yet. Arlo! Arlo! How does all this work? I can't figure out a thing on this board. No, no, stop that. Uh, if I remember correctly, you lift this, and you lower that, and you just... No, <coughs> okay, all right. Arlo, no. I think you screwed I it up. I did nothing, you need to fix this. This is all your fault. Hey Arlo, uh, real quick, Dave used a mic as and I cannot figure the damn thing out. Well, we have a sound guy, Summer, who I'm sure he can <laughs> you, you fired him. <laughs> Just put, you put it, there you go, that's Arlo? beautiful. Yes. Can you measure my waist for me? I think this dress might be a size too big. Yeah, it looks great. You've been eating a lot lately too, so that should fill it out just fine. <sighs> These new cameras are so difficult to understand. Why don't we have anybody on this team with any technological expertise? God damn it! Is this amateur hour? Learn your fucking jobs, people! We have a broadcast tomorrow morning, and I intend on showing this network what we're capable of. Arlo struggled to admit that he needed Dave to bring the show where it used to be. He wondered no, if... No, no narrations, Manny, not today. He knew deep down he needed a production assistant. We don't need anyone! All right, places, everybody! And we're live in 10... Thank you. Thank you very much. Nine, eight, oh. 
Dear God, you beautiful wizard, show these people that I know what I'm doing. And please, God, let me know what I'm doing because I don't. And show them that we don't need Dave. He's an asshole. Good morning, boys and girls. Today's magical episode is about... Hmm. Oh, God. We forgot to pick a topic. Huh? Um, well, the topic of today's episode is... What's going on? We got a, got a problem with the cameras or what's happening? I don't think the cameras are working. We're not on the air. You get us on the air now, you goddamn mushroom. It's it's gonna be okay. It's gonna get off me. None of this would have it's happened fine. if you didn't fire the whole staff. Not the whole staff yet, bitch. Bitch. Uh, yes, oh, you. Oh, oh, don't you start with me. You fuck you, Cliff. You just need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. Look, I told you guys that today's episode was gonna be about lying, specifically that sometimes it's okay. Oh well, that's a lie. You never told us a damn thing. Besides, haven't we already done an episode about that? You shut your goddamn cockholster, oh, Cliff. I am on. going to. Kill you, oh, motherfucker! Yes, you are. Miss Cordula, look at these ratings. Thirty-five million people are watching this. I told you these people were a goddamn gold mine. Looks like I'm getting another island this year. Look, I'm just saying, maybe you could be a little more original. Yeah, Arlo. What? Running out of ideas in that brilliant little mind of yours? How about some theme music for the show? I found this in storage. That is the theme music to that hack show, Carrie's Crazy Castle. You get that off my set. I love you. I love you too. You know what? I also love this rock. Homework. homework. I don't like homework. Oh, why? Oh, why is this not working? Mommy, bring back my Carrie's Crazy Castle. Good morning, boys and girls. Today's episode of Carrie's Crazy Castle will be postponed for a very special announcement. Hail, Hensy. I did it. It took me two whole years and all of my dignity, but I saved my money and invested it illegally just to buy this shitty station. So now I own Carrie's Crazy Castle, your favorite TV show. Money has finally made me perfect dad. Please, baby, just call the number on the screen. Let daddy... Hello? Leslie. Lindsay. Is that you? Look at you. You've turned into a monster. Now, now, sweetie. You know, that's just your mama's baby dick boyfriend talking. I have money now. Don't you love me? Leslie. Oh, 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 God, Vivian, honey. It's so good to hear your voice. I don't love you. I have never loved you. You only can provide for your family after they have left you for what you are worth. And even with a million dollars, you are still worth nothing. God, this is fucked up the A! I've forgotten what incompetent shitheads you all are to work with! Arlo, ah! ah! oh, get back here! Right, fuck, 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 fuck! I really done it this time, haven't I, Leslie? I thought I could do everything by myself, but no! And now, I don't think we're gonna get the ratings that I promised. Arlo. No, Leslie, look at me. This show has turned me into a freak. A show that I wouldn't have started if I wasn't trying to get back a family who wasn't there in the first place. I know exactly how that feels, Arlo. Believe me. Oh, but if I've learned one thing, it's that there are just two things in this world that matter. Money and family. The only difference is money will never leave you unless you let it. And if you get your ass back up on that stage, we have the opportunity to make a whole shitload of it and secure my retirement. Our retirement. Our retirement, yes. Yes. Thank you, Leslie. Mr. Cromers. Arlo, but you'll get it right eventually. Right? Come on! 
Looks like everything's in working order again, if His Majesty would like to proceed. Fantastic. Manny, give us a countdown. And we're live in 10, 9, 8, 7. Shut up. Well, good giddily morning, boys and girls. Today's episode. Fuck, what the hell is going on now? Arlo, this light board is fucked. Well, then just turn them all on. Oh, God. Okay. 28, 29, 30 goddamn Nielsen points. <laughs> Miss Cordula, we've never had a rush this big. Our servers can't take it. Ah, God, get this thing off my head! Get it! Oh God! Oh God! Get it off! Stay still! Stay still! Oh, 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 me right in the end! Someone get this off me! Next time on this magic list. You have 167 hours and 56 minutes to turn out episode two. Bitch, nobody knows how to do math. All right, come on, people. This shit's not going to write itself. I can say, show me the money. What's that? Your new contract. So you still think I can't run my own show without your fuckboy staff? Hey, I'm not just a fuckboy. I have opinions. Please put your hands together for Dave Rowland. And here's my opinion. Dave, go away. Feel free to explore.